guys, this is Promise Excel. I want you to listen to this show. It's going to be fun and interesting. In this show, I'm, sh I'm going to share my story, how I started the blog from zero, a blog of zero to a blog that um, becomes profitable and influential. I hope you do enjoy it. Welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show. And today we've got none other than Promise. Promise, how are you doing, my man? I'm very fine. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. All right. So Promise is a blogger that is coming in all the way from Nigeria. Man, you have stood the odds and you are actually making a whole big difference. Tell us a little bit about yourself, sir. Okay, um, I started blogging over two years ago, and when I started, I didn't know so much. So what I did was I studied lots of um, bloggers. I read a lot. I spent so much time online trying to read um, stuff up. And I knew I was passionate about um, business and entrepreneurship. So I thought that perhaps there are other people like me who are equally passionate about this or who, who wants to know more about this. So I started a blog. Then when I started a blog, I saw that I, I was getting a lot of attention from, from people, especially young people. They, they, they were like excited that somebody was doing this thing and they themselves could do it. And in a very short period of time, I got featured on so many blogs here in Nigeria and I've been given um, a couple of awards and stuff like that. So it has been um, a very interesting journey for me. It has been really nice that I've connected with lots of people, like people that I wouldn't have connected with normally. I've been able to connect with them. And when you reach out to people and you tell them you're a blogger, I know they, they give you attention. If 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 I were just to be um, just anybody, I just send you a message. You won't probably listen, but the, the moment I mention, okay, I'm a blogger and this is what I do, and they're like, okay, tell us more, you know, stuff like that. And it has been really an um, exciting journey for me because I've gotten to connect with thousands of people. So you know, when people just send me a message, send me a message that. Thank, thank you for what you're doing. Like, thank you for the things you share. It is, it's really, it's um really inspiring that the little thing you think you're doing is helping a um, lot of people. You know, people call you up and thank you for showing up. Thank you for the message you share. So, that's been a really exciting journey. Without my blog, I well, I, <laughs> I don't think I would have been where I am today. So, my blog has really helped me to get my message out there it has helped me become visible in the eyes of so many people and lots of people look up to me for inspiration motivation if this person can do this i can also do it so so far it has been a really interesting journey of course with um of course with um lots of of challenges you know um the challenges of of um internet connection, power supply, you know, lots of, lots of challenges like that. But you just, just keep going because of the feedback you're getting from people. You know, people, since um, people are looking up to you, 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 you don't want to disappoint them. So you want to make sure that you appear and make, um, and, and meet up their expectations. So it has been a very um, interesting journey for me. Very well, thanks. I mean, obviously, it comes. Very well, thanks. I mean, obviously, it, it comes with its um <laughs> own hurdles, and it comes with its own ramifications. You know, some people may take your message, some people may not accept your message. What is it that you are blogging about? You know, that people are so inspired and they really can't, um, you know, do without your message at the moment. Well, um, is is. It's just a normal um, business and entrepreneurship. That's what I write about business and um, entrepreneurship and self-development. But what makes it stand out is that I bring, into, I bring in my story, I bring in my personality, I bring in my passion. You know, people see it in a different way. So even if I should 
um, talk about a topic that a lot of people are talking about, people who are more um, who have more experience and knowledge, but I bring it in in a very special way with my personality and all that. So it, it turns out, it, it makes people want to connect with me. You know, when I share a story that people from my background or stuff like they could connect, you know, it, it triggers some kind of connection. So that's what makes it um, stand out and special. Great. So you've mentioned that your... Um, one of the biggest challenges that you're facing is, you know, the whole internet connection. Now, when you're writing your stuff, how then are the people around you receiving it if internet connection is a problem? Well, it's, it's something we just have to, to manage, just something you have to manage. You know, the, the, the internet connection here is not so strong, but then you just have to do it any, anyhow. You just have to to put in the work you you look at for alternative too. So since there are, there are other um, telecom com, um, companies around, so if this one is not working, you try out this one. You try out, you just keep trying until you're able to get what you want. So you don't let those challenges to stop you or to bring you down. You just have to fight. It's about fighting. So you just have to fight because if 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 you want to listen to all this if you want to look at the challenges you will not do anything you will not stand up because if you're trying to fight this thing one of that um, challenge is out there to to stop you so you don't um listen you don't look at those challenges you just look at the things the impact you're making just look at the bigger picture so to say when you look at the bigger picture you don't let the challenges to stop you so that is it Great stuff. Obviously, from somebody who has also been brought up in Africa, I understand you, but there could be some kid out there that's thinking, oh, you know, I can't really do this. There's no internet or oh, there's no one to support me. How then did you, you know, formulate or how did you get inspired to actually start? Because that's where we want to start off from and then we'll move on forward. Well, um, for me, I, I started intentionally. That is one thing. I started because I knew that, um, that I had a message. And for me to make my message to be heard by people, um, blogging was the, the, the means whereby I, I could use to make my message heard. So I just had to start. Now, when I started, when I started, in fact, I, I could only afford um, a domain name and a PC, and I couldn't get hosting. So I, what I did was to get, to get a job. So I, I got a job that, I, um, that could help me buy and get a domain name and other stuff I needed to start. So, so it was like um, having a, a, a job, a full-time job, and um, part-time blogging. Because I just, I just wanted to let this message out, despite the cause, despite the challenges. So I had to, to do whatever it takes to just, to just start. I just, I just had to start, even when um, those the things I needed were not available. But when I started, I didn't, I, I didn't have a premium theme on my blog. I was in a free theme, but I made sure that nothing would stop me. I just I just kept on doing, just kept on showing up, and I just start with the, with the available tools I had. I didn't wait. I didn't wait until I could afford um, this this very expensive um, um, PC, or uh, or wait until I get this expensive stuff. I started with what what I had at that moment. So so far, the journey has just been great. So for anybody who wants to start, just say just start just start with what you have. With exactly what you have, like um, one man said that um, use what you have because what you have is enough. What you have is enough to start. It could be um, the connection you have. It could be as no no matter the amount of money you had. Um, sorry, you have. You can make an impact. You just have to have that that willingness, that mind to to go out and just show up and share your message with the world. So that is it. Just have to start and do it, no matter the challenges. 
that's a very powerful message, especially coming in from you about just starting. All right. Now, since you've started, what sort of success have you garnered with your blog? You were mentioning a little bit earlier that you had interviews here. People are now really starting to re respect you. What sort of success really has been sitting on this blog ever since you started now? Okay, now success is a, um, is a very relative thing. It's, it's different from, for, for some people, their um, success could mean they are making 100 million from their blog. For some people, is that they have um, millions of sisters, so success means a lot. But for me, um, I've been able to, to reach out to lots of, pe or to, um, lots of persons, hundreds of thousands of persons through my blog and so far I've been featured on almost that blogs. Uh, before this interview I, I got featured on a radio station in my place. So 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 far I've been I've been featured on a couple of podcasts too through my blog. And and I earn a full time income from my blog so I I post on my blog completely. Then also also I my my blog my blog has um thing about twenty thousand visitors every month. So 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 far it has been such an interesting journey for me. I've been able to reach out with lots of persons and 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 so far you see that um lot of experts reach out to you and and also i've been able to to work out with um sorry work with some companies some companies here in nigeria some company who want me to um, promote their stuff their business or something so i've been able to work with a couple of them and and also i've been able to to help lots of people to to start their own blog and able to do that I have um, a coaching program and a group coaching program too so which I've helped people and still helping people so so far it has just been a journey for me that's that is so amazing I mean obviously you started off and it wasn't really working for you and now you've garnered all this success thousands and thousands of people have heard of your name promise and they are actually you know being inspired by you daily and i really really appreciate you for that now let's say somebody is just about to start their own blog and they don't know you know a few things that they need you know to start they might think it's expensive or it's hard what sort of advice would you give to somebody who is just you know on the verge of should I start this or should I not? Or is it going to work for me? What, what, what would you tell somebody who's, who's, who's looking to start a blog? Um, for somebody who wants to start a blog, <coughs> first of all, excuse me, first of all, you need to be clear on the message. You, you need to be clear on the message and the audience you want to serve. So for me, when I started, I was very clear on the message and the people I want to serve. So if you want to talk about fashion, you have to be clear on that when you're starting. But it's very, very important. Clarity is very important when you're starting out. So once you're clear with your message and the audience you want to serve, then you just start. Starting a blog now is, is not expensive. It, it, it's not expensive. Just get a domain name, which is about $10. Get hosting, can get hosting, which is about $10 too. In a, so, then you install you you install WordPress. You start blogging. So with, with twenty dollars you can you, you can actually start. With twenty dollars you can actually start and you start sharing your message. And of course, as as you share your message, share your message. Now for for you to be um, able to to get visibility very fast, you need to start writing for other blogs. That's how you have to do it. You need to start writing for other popular blogs in your niche. You get posts for them or you get blogs for them and that's how you grow. Then for somebody who does not have anything to start, you can start from social media. Start with Facebook, start posting daily. 
just start posting daily and even if you don't get plenty likes and and comments but people people are watching people are just watching okay when you say some people are watching so you can start even with zero dollar you can start with facebook facebook is free you can start sharing your message there daily and somehow somehow as when 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 people say that okay this friend knows what he's saying before you know and 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 when 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 you're sharing your message you also have to think about um how you monetize that you need to think of how to monetize that so it could be that um you need to put up um, um a video tutorial because when you're uh, um when you're sharing your message and all that, there are some skills you acquire. Like for me, before I said I didn't know anything about the WordPress, but now I I've, be, I've been able to to know so much about the WordPress that I can I, I now build websites and blogs for that people. So while you're doing this stuff, you could be learning a, a skill. It could be um, web designing, logo creation, whatever it is, so that you will not just share your message and be broke. You need to have something to also monetize it. So it could be your skill. It could be something you just learn. You don't need to become an expert with, with 20 years of experience. There are lots of people who are struggling to learn a particular thing. So it could be an app in your phone. Just learn how to do it and teach other people for a fee. It could be an app um, from your PC. It could be something you just learn it. You no, know, people are constantly looking for information. So if you, if you could learn something, you could learn and teach. I, I read a story of a guy who, who um who was okay he 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 found out that people were struggling with a particular app how to use a particular app so what he did was that he go he would go learn a particular feature on this app he would create a video about it he would learn a particular feature and he will he would create a video about it and before you know he packaged it into an online course and he was making thousands of dollars so there are ways that you could um monetize your message your skill and all that so don't um don't just go with with this idea that you um share your message randomly and without any any plan so as much as you share your message just have a plan to also monetize the whole thing so that is it wow that is fantastic. I think if anyone would learn anything from you, they will become instant heat and an instant success because obviously you've packaged all your knowledge and your expertise and it's become so much valuable. And I think the people that are watching this video today have gotten a bit and a lot of value from your work, they promise. Now, obviously, somebody might be inspired right now and they really want to get a hold of you or find out how they can learn a little bit more from you. How can people get a hold of you, they promise? Now, to get um, to, to get to know more about me, just to visit my blog, that is, that is, that is where I, I have all my stuff. That is the channel you can, you can reach out to me through email or or Facebook, I'm very active on Facebook and Instagram too. So if you you, you can reach out to me um, from my blog, maverickexcel.com, or my Facebook Facebook I, my Facebook is Promise Excel. Then my Instagram is Maverick Excel. So you could reach out to me through that means, and I'll be super excited to help in any way I can. So. Oh my, this has been so fantastic, Promise. You've given us a lot of information of how to start, scale, and grow a blog that's profitable and you can actually enjoy making money off of it. I really appreciate your time today and thank you so much. If you're going to be watching this um, and you want to get a hold of uh, Promise, I'm going to put all his details um, for his website in the comments section below. And if you're going to start a blog for yourself, make sure you monetize it, make sure you've got a message and make sure you're actually doing it because you've got the passion, the zeal and want to really succeed. Promise, thank you so much today for joining us on this uh, video today. Thank you so much. Thank you for the opportunity. I'm really excited. Thank you so much. Great stuff. All right. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Me and Promise are going to be away uh, trying to make and fix blogs so that you too can have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. This has been Prosper. Thank you so much for your time today.
I think everyone is going to enjoy this show, my man. <laughs>